a train of powerful storms has begun across the United States, as the first of multiple storm systems moves into the West today. Extremely heavy snow is expected across the West as these storms move in repeatedly, especially along the Sierra Nevada mountain range. We have a lot to talk about today, so let's get straight into the information. The first storm has already started moving onshore, with widespread rain and mountain snow across the West. Just after this system moves further inland, another one will follow right behind on December 29th into the 30th. Then, yet another system moves onshore on December 31st, possibly becoming the next potent snowstorm for the central United States into the upper Midwest, with severe storms possible in the south. Another wave of snow and rain moves into the west on January 2nd, as the previous storm continues working its way east. Then, a fifth storm crashes ashore on January 4th into the 5th, bringing additional snowfall and rain. Once we get beyond January 5th, the forecast has become uncertain, so we will focus more on what will happen between December 27th into January 4th. Here are the potential snowfall accumulations between December 27th into January 4th. The majority of the snow looks like it will stay confined to the west, especially in the Sierra Nevada mountains, the Cascades, and the Rockies. Some model guidance is suggesting that one of these storms could develop some heavy snowfall past the mountainous terrain, bringing some wintry weather to the plains into the upper Midwest. More details on that specific storm will come available in the coming days. These relentless storms will not only bring a lot of snow, but plenty of heavy rainfall for the lower elevations. Here is a map I created for this storm. Places in blue may see snowfall, with widespread heavy snow possible in the red. Heavy rain is likely along the west coast, as well as the mid-south. Heaviest rainfall totals are expected in the areas I have shaded in yellow and orange. If we take a look at the Weather Prediction Center's outlooks, we see some similar locations under the risk of excessive rain. For Tuesday morning into Wednesday morning, excessive rainfall is possible along most of the west coast, especially around California. For Wednesday morning into Thursday morning, there is a risk of excessive rain for Arizona, as that storm moves inland. The next system comes ashore between Thursday morning into Friday morning, causing a risk of excessive rainfall in Northern California into Southwest Oregon. More flooding will be possible further inland, around the Mid-South region. On Friday morning into Saturday, excessive rainfall remains likely across California, as well as the Gulf states. Then, by Saturday and Sunday, the excessive rainfall threat remains over California. Thank you for watching. If you want more updates on these incoming storms, please do consider subscribing to the channel and turning on the notification bell.